Welcome in to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler, and today we are going to begin our second attempt playing as Czechoslovakia, going for the Munich Disagreement. Uh, last time we had a wonderful time not achieving it, and uh, I really did like uh, like that a ton. So we're going to try it again. Uh, so we're going to go for a Munich Disagreement here as Czechoslovakia occupy Munich while at war with Germany. Um, so I've done some digging and some looking, um, and I looked at three or four guides to this agreement, or to this uh, thing, and uh, quite a few of them um, <laughs> just said to go down the, the stuff as normal, maybe go communist, maybe not, uh, maybe stay democratic, but either way, to go down the stuff as normal, and just research paratroopers and then paratroop into Munich and you got it you're done that is uh, definitely a way to get the the Munich disagreement uh, and you could even then lose the war um, but I found one by a guy named bitter steel on YouTube the link should be in the description uh, it's about a year old but it should still be good I think uh, that is a guide not only to uh, how to get this achievement uh, relatively strongly without the paratrooper thing, but then to continue on into uh, potentially trying to get that checkmate one, which checkmate was uh, occupying Can Canberra while at war with the Allies. And Canberra, of course, being uh, the uh, capital of, uh, and you really have to have, have all of New South Wales there in uh, Australia. So you really kind of have to have this whole uh, this whole area here, and having all the victory points in there. So uh, that was one there, and then of course I have never taken over one of the major factions um, for assuming direct control. That theoretically could happen as well, um, as theoretically could the Warsaw Uprising, but I doubt it. So that is what we're going to be going for, and we're going to be using Bitter Steel's uh, guide, and so. Uh, Hopefully it will work out, and hopefully it will uh, succeed at that. So we're going to be going down uh, roughly his thing there. The other housekeeping thing to say is this is being recorded on July 3rd. Um, so there are a great many fireworks going off uh, around my house, and my neighbors have been going for uh, quite some time, and I just have to get the recording done. So we're recording. Um, and my neighbors have been shooting off fireworks directly outside the window I usually record in. And so, as such, um, <laughs> we're not recording in the studio, so all of the sound adjustments that I did on uh, a Twitch at uh, game, League of Average Gaming last week is uh, not, not happening here today. We're in a new space, so hopefully the sound will be okay, and hopefully the fireworks won't be too deafening over here um, if they continue to shoot off major ones. Hopefully they're done. Um, it is getting rather late into this night. That is what we are going to do. So, uh, the first thing in Bitter Steel's guide. Let's go ahead and go over here to the research. It's just normal research in his stuff. We'll do the uh, electric stuff, the production stuff, and construction. All right. Um, for civilian factories, he says to do one civilian and then lots of military elsewhere so just get that set up like that and for military factories he says to put seven here none uh, get rid of all of those and to put two in artillery um, and then to set up seven more here um, for those military factories that we will be building um, let's see here uh, for national focus uh, so what the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go left we're gonna go communist route and uh, beg Stalin for some help uh, here but not really all that much uh, it's mostly on me uh, so we're gonna go for political direction first um, and then we will go uh, down to go left and then uh, strategic decisions and then down to communist support 
Czech socialism, which will get rid of divided nation. That's really important there. And then uh, communism with a human face, uh, which grants even more recruitable population. And then uh, we'll be fighting some wars at that point. So political direction is the first way to go. So that's what we're going to do first. Our democracy is young. It has not yet been strongly tested with both fascism and communism on the rise throughout Europe. The question has been asked, is this the right direction? And if not, what is? And we'll get some political power for that, which is really good. And then the really big one for him is delete the entire army. Go to the Air Force. Delete the entire Air Force. And don't mess with it. So that's the the really, really big, uh, big thing for that. Uh, let's take a look at the insufficient resources we actually have. Uh, tungsten. Do we really need that for anything? Artillery. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna gonna do that. Don't know if. Don't remember if he uh, if he did that or not. Uh, this is played with AI focuses, so that's a thing. And we're going to go speed five and. Click on pause. Finally. I hope you are uh, enjoying the thought of coming back to this uh, this run and trying again uh, and all of that wonderful stuff as we prepare to uh, <laughs> hopefully get the achievement this time, uh, or at least get closer. Uh, it may take a couple of times of going through this guide to really get the, the hang of executing it but hopefully we should should manage to get it going uh, soon, get it going well. Um, if you're a fan of uh, Bitter Steel, I know I've heard that name before in the community. Let me know down in the comments section uh, and let me know if there's some really good videos from him. I don't think I've ever watched a video from him or a guide from him or anything like that. Um, and I found him by far the best presenter uh, that I watched of all the guides, and uh, a guide that I think was more more what I was after of just trying to uh, hold our own against Germany, not not do any tricks, but uh, to actually like win the war, uh, you know, get over to Munich and actually occupy it as as opposed to uh, the way that that maybe would have been done otherwise. As opposed to you know getting here and, and then losing those troops, that's what I was going for. Because if you paratroop in, yeah, you can, <laughs> you can paratroop in, but but if you paratroop in, you know, obviously we have that that problem there. Uh, that they'll be stuck. We're not going to be able to get to them. So this was uh, something there, and I th hopefully I can execute it. That there's a bit of a place that I'm not sure, um, just because I know he's better than I am, and he had to like really focus in for a section so we'll see if I can can manage that in that section but uh, hopefully hopefully we'll get that done all right we should be close yeah we are very close on political direction and uh, he made it very clear do not spend any of the political power so they have remilitarized the Rhineland. But yeah, he made very clear, don't spend that political power you just got. So now we will go left. Communism is the future. All efforts must be directed into reshaping our government and society to follow Marxist ideals. So the Soviet Union gains opinion of us, Great Britain and the German Reich, and France and the United States and Italy and Japan all lose opinion of us. Turkey has remilitarized the Turkish Straits. That seems like the only one you can go with as, as Turkey. Makes sense. See, I don't think that we can get the advisor yet. No. Okay. So yeah, we have to get this guy here. Alright. Um, for focuses, uh, he kind of did standard, so um, I assume it, it continues standard. So we'll do that. It was tough to follow all of the the technology. It's easier to follow the focuses. 
But uh, that's the problem with every guide on YouTube. Unless you go through the time, which that's the point of doing it the way I do it. So don't ever find anyone who just takes the time and goes through it. And I'd like to find that. They always cut. Which I know this is boring, particularly this time, right? I'm not even setting up troops or anything, but um, we also speed five it and it gets through relatively quickly. And this one actually will be, be good. There should be war in the first episode, which is a rare civil war, but war. Nonetheless. All right, where's that research coming? One day. All right, the London Treaty has been signed. Good. All right, so he said to go with concentrated, and I think I agree with him if I can go as fast as he did. So we'll see if I can. But I definitely do agree with him on that front. Even though I normally go dispersed. Where are we? About 12 days away. Okay. All right. So, this will give us some stuff here. Here we go. The national focus of Go Left is completed. We are now going to go to strategic decisions to grab that 150 political power. We are then going to go for hiring the communist revolutionary. And we should be able to just wait a little bit and this will go up. There we go. We are now at 10%, I think almost exactly 10%. Yeah, 10% exactly. Prepare for civil war. We have no time to wait for the slow changes in the minds of the people. For their own sake, we must force the matter swiftly, even if some may lose their lives in the process. Unlike the peaceful referendum, a civil war can cause tremendous devastation to our armed forces and the country's industry and infrastructure, but it's also quicker, and ensures we will be able to force our will through more forcefully afterwards. And then he says to ignite it immediately. Time has come to take the plunge. All preparations we deem necessary have been made. There's no turning back now. Democratic supporters will start a civil war. And just like that, there's war in the first episode. What is this nonsense? Now he said to not, don't unpause. The reason is you lose a bunch of uh, civilian factories and things and you have to get this there right that was at zero so if you don't click this plus button to get this one back it's gone all of it is gone so that's really really important to do and then we're going to train a bunch of these as many as we can uh we can get 16 we cannot get 17 so 16 so right actually right where he was and we're going to deploy them down there and we're going to do that once. And this is a civil war where they split the army and they split the uh, resources and things. And so um, <laughs> they, we, we don't have anything. So uh, let's see, let's watch this get to 10. Uh, and so there's no, no forces on either side. So the war will just kind of sit here for a little bit. And he said to train the cavalry because they will train quickly. Which makes sense. Hopefully we can make this happen. He makes it look so easy, but he's good. 10%'s ready, right? Oh, they have to be at 20%. Okay, we'll go to 20%. I don't usually force deploy quickly, so this is new to me. All right, let's get that uh, done here. So, um, I 
You know what? Let's get the weapons. I know it'll be a ways. But let's go ahead and get that. It is June 1936, so we probably will be okay with that. Alright, 20%. Force deploy. Now I'm going to slow the game down a little bit. We're going to grab them. We're going to put them in a army. And uh, we have winter attrition and we have a panzer leader. Well, that's at least something. Um, I can make him a winter expert. But it's June. So one thing I'm thinking is I may promote... Yeah, let me promote that guy. We're going to put him here, and I'm going to change from what he had done, from what uh, Bittersteel had done, and I'm going to uh, have this here. I am going to do an Offensive Doctrine with him. Oh, I can do more than one. Good. Um, division Recovery Rate. Sure. I got 40 Command Power now. You don't have anything you can do. Okay. Now, I'm just kind of take uh, first four. You're going to go this way. You four are going to go here. Yeah. You take the airfield and go here and all the way to there if you will. And you kind of go uh, to here, if you will. There's no way they're going to make it all the way to there, but we're going to do that. Germany's already amassing on our borders, but they're not going to do anything. At least they shouldn't. Oh, and the other thing to do, as soon as you uh, turn communist, is you're going to justify on Austria, and then justify on Yugoslavia in that order. Important. Almost forgot it. Would have been very, very bad. What in the world? Why do you have no orders? What? Why do you have no orders? No, no, go down here. You guys should be going. Should have gone long ago. Come on. I actually want two of you to come back this way, please. Well, one of you. Go that way. And so you can see they didn't have anything deployed either. And so, uh... You know, kind of have to kind of have to deploy their forces, and it's done. Just like that, the Civil War is over. So halt, and now you're going to set up on the Austrian border. You're going to have an offensive line of roughly there-ish. No problems. And now we're going to train... Um, the eight more that we need in order to make that a full army. And he said to force deploy that ASAP as well. Make sure this construction is still going. It was not. We need to set up the, the military factories again. Okay. All right, uh, we need to be ready to force deploy these. Uh, let's go speed five again. I'm sure that we have uh, done the most world tension we have. It's We've done 11% of the 15%. But we are now the Czechoslovak Union. All those fancy communist words. And honestly, if I hadn't found any guide if I hadn't found any guide, I would have tried to go communist and then attacked Germany. If I could attack Germany, like, right now, that'd be awesome. 
because they shouldn't have very much, but obviously with the way we did the Civil War, I don't have very much either, so uh, that would not go well for me, but that was kind of the, the direction that I would have tried to go uh, based on what we just experienced. All right, so you're going to go here, and now you're all going to go on that line, and now we switch them over to the division. We don't have anywhere near the manpower. We don't have anywhere near the infantry equipment, but that's fine. Furthermore, we are going to shift, click, and train. He kind of just said, you know, to train them, but I'm going to do the shift click. So now they're going to try and train up, which is just fine. That was fast. Um, he indicated that you can get experience for sending some uh, equipment, but we have none to send. That That's not, not a thing. Uh, now I will uh, try to get some tungsten, but we don't need to get some tungsten. Which I find very interesting. Oh, we don't need to get some tungsten because that that's there. Ew. Okay. Uh, we're going to try and get it from the Soviets. Okay. Now, let's check and see where we're at on this now that we've completed our Civil War. We're not too far away. And I'm not actually sure. Um, I think that uh, what we're going to do with that political power is get our stability up, because we are way down on our stability. Uh, but maybe not. Next up is Communist Support. Our leftward swing is gathering momentum. Support for communism is growing nationwide, and the rate will only increase as we throw more government support behind it. We gain the national spirit communist influence, which gains communism support and acceptance of communism diplomacy. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go to war economy now. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to spend that political power. I, I know stability being that low is dangerous. But with that um, focus, we should get some more communism support. And as communism support goes up, so will our stability. But he did talk about doing some uh, stuff here, especially improving worker, uh, improving worker conditions and maybe even a promise of peace, but uh, just to get the stability up and the war support up, but war propaganda as well. Yeah, we are not going to dismantle the Czechoslovakian forts. We're going to do everything but that. <laughs> Definitely not. All right, the Olympics are concluded in Berlin. So that's good, I guess. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. That's just the standard uh, standard event. So we're 245 days away from that one, and we are 360. Okay. That was pretty standard timing-wise. That, that's good. It'll be really important to just kind of make sure we win these fights. And make sure we can get everything going here. Now, we are actually really close on infantry equipment. It's manpower. So, the next thing to be doing is to do a few of these divisions to get them going out here. We're going to keep uh, keep those military factories going. And I think we are going to just do improved worker conditions right now. We're going to get some more stability going. Uh, really try to avoid strikes if we can. That was one of the big things he talked about. 
and I think that's a good idea. And uh, let's see where we're at here. Let's finish up communist support, and that'll be a good place to end the episode, especially since we'll have all three research flip over as well. Sounds great. Come on. There we go. Done all three of those now. So, uh, we can get our stuff going, but I think we need to get artillery. And then... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a doctor. And we're going to do superior firepower this time, because this is much more offensive of a game. And I do think that uh, Engineer Company we will get that going as well. And then uh, one more day for communist support. Select that next national focus. Now we're going to go all the way over to Czech Socialism uh, next. So central control is certainly great for the economy, but perhaps it is possible to have too much of a good thing by decentralizing slightly into both Czech and Slovakian Soviets. Greater overall unity can prevail. So that'll give us a uh, removed divided nation gives Czech socialism, which will grant uh, foreign subversive activities down and some political power, which is fantastic. But that's what we'll be doing next time. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do like, please do comment, please do subscribe down below, and I will see you next time.